Hi, Yarny friends. My name is Crystal, and I'm on here today to share with you finished objects, whips, acquisitions, happy mail, and I think that's it for this vlog. <laughs> I have like five different vlogs that I'm wanting to do. I have more, but oh my goodness. <laughs> My body is so mean to me. I have not shown finished objects for two weeks. Um, and I really haven't got that much done in the two week period of time. I just, I've been struggling. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I live with chronic il illnesses. A lot of them. <laughs> they just keep piling up. Um, my top few are myelagic encephalomitis, which used to be called chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, and then another one is POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's a form of dysautonomia. Um, another one, uh, another few are small fiber neuropathy, um, multiple chemical sensitivity, fibromyalgia, all kinds of fun stuff, and rosacea, and there's more. <laughs> so I am bedridden the majority of the time. So that's why I'm not on here frequently and why I don't feel that I get a lot done considering I can crochet all the time if, if my body would let me. <laughs> So, but those of you that have chronic illnesses and that suffer like I do know you, you guys are amazed on what I do get done. So I'm going to start with finished objects, but I have to say, I was telling my sister the other day that I lost my crojo and I lost my sojo and I lost my cardjo. <laughs> I lost all my joes. I don't know where they went. They just left me. They all left me. <laughs> Normally, I'm always wanting to either crochet or sew if my body lets me or make cards if my body lets me. And I've just had no desire to do any of those things um, for a few reasons. And I will get into those at the end at the end. So I won't go into it. First, I'll get into the yarny stuff for those that are here for just the yarny stuff. Welcome. And for those um, that are interested in a little bit more, I'll put that at the end. So let's see, what's my first finished object? There's just amigurami. <laughs> I've not finished anything big. So this first one is for, I gotta look. It's for the um, Octo Party Cow, that rail at the Dabbling Hook. She um, is doing a crochet along, and I will link her channel and the vlog with the crochet along in it. It lasts until the end of this month, 331. She's making some prizes. She's making, uh, she made a bag. She made, she sewed a little basket. And so how exciting. So this finished object is for that crochet along. She um, has, oh, I wanted to show you guys. Darn it. Okay. Let me go grab them. They're just right here. Let's see if I can reach him. Oh no! Well, I'll just grab one of one of these. Okay, okay. We'll see if I cut that part out. <laughs> we'll see if I might have to cut that out, people. Might have to cut that out. <laughs> I, all my weight goes towards my my backside. <laughs> so she designed um, an octo. I think she just called it. TDH Octo, and um, let me take the hat off. This is the Octo that she designed a while ago. Now this one I made, I didn't tie in these in. I made a hat with, <laughs> oh no. Uh, so, so I made three witches. They're all up there in three different colors, and I called them, um, I'm drawing a blank. What's that show? Oh, what's that movie? Oh, I can't remember. Hmm. I'll have to put it right here. I named them after those three witches in that kid's movie. So this is, this is what she designed. And then 
I made this witch, I think, because I saw her make one. And then, my favorite one ever, and I saw her make a Grinch Octo. So, I made this one. This is because of her, because she had made one. So, you get the pattern for the Octo, and then, you know, I just winged it for the hat and things like that. So, this is her pattern from, I don't know when she released it. Then she had a new pattern out where um, she made it more, the head part more long. And so, um, of course, I had to use velvet yarn and I wanted to make her a girly girl. I should have put red cheeks on her. So I wanted her to have painted tent tentacles. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> So, this is her. <laughs> I put little beads right here so she would have little, you know, painted nails. I think I messed it up right there. You know, it was hard with this velvet yarn to see. But, um, so she's got lipstick on. I should have gave her rosy cheeks. She's got a flower in her hair. So this is velvet yarn in white, and this is velvet yarn. I don't remember what color, and I've had those. I don't remember when I got them. So this is my entry into the Octo Party cowl. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. I had a different purple one, but I gave that one to my sister. So then I was struggling to want to crochet anything and I was trying to stick to whips only and that's hard for me to do. When I put down a project, it's hard to go back and do that project and especially in amigurami, I don't know why. And so I was trying to be good and not start anything new, but I was sad. Uh, Amigurami helps me, helps me get through rough times, and um, I like to do whatever inspires me, whatever tickles me at that moment, that's what I want to do, and so I wasn't doing anything because I wanted to be good and only work on my whips. So I I was like I gotta stop it I, I'm getting I'm, I was really battling depression and because um, it's hard to battle every day being sick and um and not doing the things that you want to do or just not doing stuff around the house um you know i had a couple good days and they were spent laundry and cleaning and i didn't get to do anything fun so it's it's hard to battle those things so i needed a pick me up darn it i was gonna get her name because it was a long time ago she showed this a year ago i believe her name's kim i will um either link her name in the description box below if I decide to edit it I this vlog I will put it right here I might be editing it to hide <laughs> me walking over there so she showed this rabbit and I wanted to make her I think I bought it it's from Amigurami today but you you can either go to their site and there's ads or buy it but it's I had it a long time so I made it <laughs> Don't you love her? Wouldn't she just tickle you and make you happy? <laughs> I have to say, I use this yarn right here. It's like a two-weight cotton. And the body was fine, but these little feet and arms and ears hurt my hand so bad that I will not be doing a two-weight uh, and 100% cotton yarn. Because that stuff, I made a Mr. Purs a lot, the purple one right there or a mini meow and out of this yarn and it was fine but these teeny teeny tiny things weren't any fun and then on the back side I think it she needed a cotton tail they have you crochet some round little thing out of this yarn to stick right there and I was like it's a rabbit rabbits need a cotton tail <laughs> So I loved her and she cheers me up and she tickles me and makes me happy. I love her. So that's why I made her and didn't finish my, um, my, the child, <laughs> the baby Yoda still. I mean, I worked on some, but, and I worked on the monster girl, but not a lot. 
So then my son, Justin, he, he's the one with Asperger's and epilepsy and really bad ADHD. He was visiting me the other day, him and Lily, my granddaughter, and Sarah, um, his fiance. And on my table right here, he was in my room, and he saw that little candy corn, the stitch marker one that I had made. He was so excited. He loved it. He's like, Mom, Mom, can I have this? It's my favorite candy. Can I have this? And I'm like, I messed up on it. The colors were out of whack. And he's like, I don't care. I love it. I'm like, yeah, of course you can have it. What mom isn't going to give their child, you know, if they want some crocheted you're going to, you know, except for maybe the Yoda. Well, I am going to be making another Yoda, I hope someday, for my middle son, Ryan. <laughs> so anyway, so then I just got a wild hair in me, and I'm like, I should make him a candy corn. Now, they have this, um, what's her name? Repeat Crafter Me has a candy corn made out of blanket yarn and I really wanted to make that and I had well, I guess you can't see but it's up here I had the yarn to do it but I struggle crocheting with blanket yarn with amigurami I think I made a found a hack but I'm going to save that or something that will help me but I'm going to save that for a different video so I took because she has this big big um candy corn pillow like thing and Justin is very into texture he loves soft things and um so but instead of that I made one with a worsted weight instead of the blanket yarn so I made him a candy corn <laughs> I know it's not October I know Easter's coming <laughs> But it amused me. <laughs> I can't wait to show him. Isn't that a cute candy corn? I asked my husband, I go, do you think I made the eyes too big? And then he goes, hmm, do candy corns have a size of eyes? <laughs> I'm like, hmm, nope, there is no um, set size eyes for candy corn. <laughs> So I will link any pattern that I talk about in the description box below. So I enjoyed making this. This tickled me. Um, I think I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and her foundation chain is off. I kept counting the numbers, counting my stitches, counting her numbers, counting my stitches and you're supposed to like have 86 stitches and I had 83 and I did exactly what she was she told you to do so I actually had to add three stitches in rows two and three I think I added two more to one and another one to another something like that so then the rest of the pattern would just be you know work out just fine so love him love him he's so cute so then my that's it for finished objects. That's all I got done in two weeks. Um, I did work on, I'm still working on my Eva cardigan and I got the back panel done. Now I have to adjust the pattern a little bit. I finally figured out that I am making an extra small, but I'm using a bigger yarn. So my sweater is going to end up being a medium large. Luckily she gives you, um, what size each panel is supposed to be so I can modify this for the yarn because it's a bigger yarn but I'm using the same hook as her so I, I either I I don't think I crochet tight or loose or whatever that would equate to so um, I think you would have to do something like 190 rows and I did 151 I was gonna do 150 but I did an extra row not on purpose and I'm like I'm not ripping that thing out <laughs> so I did this is my back panel without anything woven in so this is my Eva cardigan so finished that that's a lot of stitches because it's a DK yarn and then just started my um, one of the front panels so I'll need to do two front panels and they'll need to be 151 rows um, so and then after the panels I do the arms and then after I put it all together I do a collar so hopefully I have enough of that yarn 
So that's what's on my hook. I have, um, I worked a little bit last night on the, that little monster girl, but I didn't bring her in here. And I really just need to do the baby Yoda. I don't have much to go, but it's hard to do something when you don't feel good. You know, it, when I'm feeling good, it's okay. I'm like, oh, I can do these little detailed things, you know, go back. But when I'm not feeling well, it's, it's hard to force yourself to do something that isn't kind of tickling you a little bit. So that's, that's what's on my hook right now. And I'm going to go into, I got a couple cards and then some acquisitions that I'm super duper excited about. These cards, oh my goodness. And if I didn't show a card of yours, things are a mess. It's hard. It's hard for me to keep track of things. I just, cause I'm sick all the time. Like I'm working on getting out happy mail or mail and it's like climbing Mount Everest. I have one more. I have to send out four different ha packages to um, packages are from the giveaway and then one to Billy and one to Petra. And it's a lot of work. It's really hard for me. I don't even know how to explain something so simple, feeling like you're climbing Mount Everest just to get mail together. And to hopefully write it right, because one of the um, one of the winners, I think her name's Lisa, and I called her Lynn in the email, and I just noticed it today, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, my my brain, I, my brain scares me. <laughs> so this first card is from Cheryl. And I just loved your note. You are so cute that you binge watched my vlogs. I just, it tickles me. It makes me feel so good. I, I, I appreciate you. And I appreciate you taking the time to send me a handwritten note. It means a lot to me. Thank you. And then my next one is um, from Michelle. And um, a sweet note in here. And I'm sure a lot of people that have channels will know Michelle. I don't know if I should say her last name. But she watches her vlogs and supports us. And I just, she's just wonderful. I thank you so much, Michelle, for your card. I appreciate it. I love cards. Thank you. Uh, and that's it for Happy Mail. The next, well, I guess it's still kind of Happy Mail because, um, but I bought it. <laughs> So, Billy the Crafty Floridian is making, okay, I can't say it on YouTube, guys. I don't say bad words very frequently. My kids, I never knew how much they paid attention to it until they were older, and my oldest son said to me, yeah, I've only heard mom say a bad word like five times in my life. I'm like, you're counting? <laughs> Who counts that? So she calls him D dolls, Dar darn it dolls, but with the different type of D. And I saw them. I love them. I had to have one. So this is the doll I got. And she's just so cute. I love her so much. And then she has a little saying, this is what it's really called. <laughs> If you want to pause that and read that. But I can't do that to her. I can't get mad and pound her. She's too cute. I've tried to figure out of a different name for her, like a darling doll. Because <laughs> she's just too cute. I love her. So, once I saw her, I realized she needs a sister. You know, I have a sister. She needs a sister. So then I bought another one. <laughs> I changed her hair just a little bit. <laughs> so I bought her. So now she has a sister. So this one is Crystal after me. And this one's Carrie after my sister. Because she would definitely love to dye her hair blue. <laughs> or purple. Her favorite color is purple. So, yay! I love these dolls. I love them. They're so cute. I can't believe I got them for such a good price. She did. She does an amazing job. My next acquisition 
is, this is from Rail at the Dabbling Hook. I'm so excited. I've wanted one of her project bags forever. And this print tickles me and reminds me of spring and I love it. And it is bigger than, I know, I think she wrote extra large on there, I think. But it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I guess I didn't know. I didn't read. I didn't look at the size. <laughs> I was just like, ooh, pretty. I want that. <laughs> So I'm excited to have one of her project bags. So I got this one. Look at that. Look at that. Sparkly and purple. A lavender. I love this inside. I love this fabric. She does an amazing job. Oh my gosh. And it has her tag on it. I love it. I love it. You did such a great job, Rail. Thank you. And then with it, I don't know, her card was in there. I'm not going to show. I guess she doesn't have a phone number. These are all the places you can find her. Ooh, I don't know if that. So, anywho, and then in it was a cup of, a cup of tea. <laughs> a tea bag. <laughs> It's called Organic, Cool, and Tranquil Chamomile and Spearmint. I have to give that to my husband. Me and chamomile don't get along. I love chamomile. And I love mint tea. But me and chamomile, oh, you know, my son loves chamomile tea. And he likes peppermint. I think I'll give him that. And then I got the cutest stitch marker ever. And she crocheted me a cute flower. I might just have to leave it just like this and put it up somewhere. Look at this stitch marker. It says the dabbling hook. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love orange. Orange just brightens my day. It's so cheery. But it's going to have to go somewhere where I can see it. I have a pegboard right here. Hmm. So I think that's it. Well, that's not it for acquisitions. Where am I? 22 minutes. I have some premier yarn. Hmm. I think I'm going to separate that. So, because I'm at 22 minutes. I'm going to separate that and do that in a different vlog. So, um, darn it. I didn't know I was going to say something. I said I was going to wait till the end. And yeah, yeah. Oh, one thing that got me depressed was um, that I was struggling with is I have come to realize that I have an issue with wool yarn. It's starting to irritate my lungs and um, kind of make them tighten up and make me cough. Um... So I'm going to have to get rid of all my wool yarn. Now I'm going to keep all my dyed, my superwash merino, and in a couple months pull it out after I've gotten everything else out of here and gone and see if that still bothers me as much as it's usually the ones that are... Um, like all wool, not super washed, has little fibers hanging out. That's the kind that really irritate my lungs a lot. So I have gone through and got rid of, out of my cubbies, except for this cubby up here and this, which direction? Oh no! And this cubby right there. Those still have wool in it. Um... That bag right here, I'm going to be crazy disappointed if that wool and that yarn, I'm irritated by it because I haven't showed you guys. I got it before I had a channel. I have a magazine in there and I bought all the yarn to make the, mag the, the cardigan in the magazine. I fell in love with it and I was waiting until... I felt, because I was really new at crocheting, until I felt my abilities were good enough to make this cardigan. And um, so I haven't pulled it out to see how I react to it. Because I just right now, I don't want to know. Because I'm just going to start to cry. Because So I can handle the yarn, but the biggest problem I'm having a hard time with is I... My husband bought me for my 50th birthday yes, last year 
an e-spinner to spin my own yarn. So you spin fiber into yarns. You spin wool into yarn. And I'm going to have to sell this spinner that I've only used a couple times. And all the fiber that I have purchased because it's that fiber that just kind of gets everywhere and it really is starting to irritate my lungs. So um, I feel a little overwhelmed with all that because I'm just so sick. I tried to look into doing like mystery yarn boxes and it's just too expensive. It, I, it's just so expensive in shipping. So I'm probably going to be selling all this locally on my Facebook marketplace via that way because it's just it's not cost effective i did get a lot of uh, um hobby lobby clearance yarn that has wool in it and i was thinking maybe somebody in canada if they wanted to pay the price i got it plus shipping then they would get it for a good price but I just don't think I can go back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out what yarn they may want and then try to get it all. I'm just going to sell it on Marketplace in lots, you know, like maybe do four or five lots. And I'm not, I can't just do this little group of this, a little group. I just am too sick. I'm way too sick to do that. So I'm just overwhelmed um, by all that. I get unblessed. I understand that life could be worse and that my husband, he loves me and he hasn't left me. I have a nice home. I have yarn. So, and people have it way, way worse than me. So I felt guilty being saddened by this. I felt like I had no right to say that I'm sad. Um about it. So, uh, you know, it's been hard to want to get on here cuz I'm just so open and honest with how I feel. And um so yeah. So so I've cleaned out everything. I uh, I do have my hand dyed wool in a different place and it's all bagged up, which I wanted it to be anyway. So I will oh, and then I have all the wool I have undyed yarn and I bought everything to dye it. Pots and little burner and the 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 dye and all that so yeah i'm gonna probably sell that as a lot on facebook marketplace and i will save a box or two for a future giveaway you know i'll just box it all up tape it up not leave it in this room put on there that it's wool yarn and i'll probably forget what it is and then someday it'll be a mystery even to me and <laughs> it'll be some future giveaway so that's what's been going on with me. Um, that's all I can think of. I um, probably should end this so I could do, hopefully do a couple extra vlogs today to have them to put out this week. I'd be really excited. I don't know. I'm finally having a better day today. Um, hopefully I don't push it. <laughs> so, um, and then I am like, so me and my sister live with horrible guilt. We are probably the guiltiest people you'll ever meet. She is the queen. I am the princess. She's a little bit worse than I am. Another reason why it's been hard for me to get on here is I feel guilty about comments. I struggle with them, but I love them so much. I love them. And, and I've said it before. It's just so hard to process information. And I typically pay for doing vlogs or just for breathing. <laughs> just, there's no rhyme or reason. So, um, so if it takes me a while or if I can't get to, to answering comments, it's usually because I just, I, I flared up really bad. So, um, just know that I, uh, you're important to me and that I care about you and that I love you and that I hope you're doing well and that you're crocheting and you're making fun stuff and I'd love to see it if you want to show me on my Facebook group um I, I'd really love seeing it I, I know I don't get on there very often but that's just because my body's in <laughs> I better go for now I will talk to everybody later bye